Hello! You are about to watch a video. Now this video may or may not be the best slash worst video you've ever watched in your entire whole video watching career, which includes but is not limited to Facebook, YouTube, Skype, etc, etc, etc. This video may contain everything from philosophy, why are we here, why are we, who are we, what is life, to me screaming, I am a banana, over and over again. I am a banana! <laughs> What's up, gurus? Dustin here, and today I felt like playing some Mountain Blade Warband. Mountain Blade Warband is a game set in medieval times and a fake continent, and you get to rise up the ranks and do shit, and it's fun. I will be playing this game until I conquer the world, so let's get started. We got a long goal ahead of us. I am gonna cheat, though. Um, you're s you get to make a character here, and each one of these things makes it a little different. Like, if you're impoverished noble, people might know you a little better. They might respect you more as a leader. If you're a warrior, you're obviously better at fighting, etc, etc. I'm gonna cheat and go noble, nobleman's court, squire. Just because of the way I work. And, uh, I believe the one I want for here. This this is the one... I know this one gives you power. This one's agility. I, I think this is the one I want. Um, each one gives you something different. And now, because I'm a nobleman, I get to pick a banner, so I get to be special. There's one I'm looking for. There it is. That's such a sick banner. Alright, allow me to quit without saving. Blah, blah, blah. So now, we're at character skills. This is me on paper. I get to pick my skills. You want to make sure everything is in threes. So I'm going to make strength nine. And I'm just going to pour the rest into charisma. And now I have six skill points. I get to use. I put four in leadership. Uh, I want some power flesh. Put three in there. I, I got good writing. Good. And then I'm going to put one prisoner manager. Uh, I'll put two in prisoner management. There we go. And I typically like to use one-handed weapons the most, but I will destroy on. And my name, of course, is Angry Guru Guru. So, let's get started. Uh, this is me. Uh, randomize, randomize, randomize. I could spend all... You, you can see, you could spend all day. I'm going to pick one that kind of looks like me. That looks like me. It's kind of a long face, but sure. All right. So now we get to pick what country we want to join. And this is the hard part, because... I always do the Nords, but I'm thinking I want to do someone different. I'm uh, <laughs> Swadi is good. I do like the Swads. That's good. We'll go back to the Nords. Sirem is for the Nords. All right. So basically, we go to the main Nordic town and we get attacked by this fucker right here. So we get to do some jukes and stuff. Show my skills, ready? Pow! I missed. All right. Let's just get up there and beat the shit. Be the ship. Uh, I don't know what settings these are on. Hold on. Ooh, ooh what does that do? Alright, so, okay, everything is average, which is what, what I'll be playing. Get to fight this guy a little bit. Oh, them dodges. I don't think I've hit him yet. There we go. Roar! Got him. And now this guy comes running up to us after the battle, of course. Couldn't help out. Asshole. Uh, he basically asks if you're alright, blah blah blah, come inside, shouldn't wander the streets before guards are out, etc, etc, talk to him again. Uh, his brother got kidnapped by bandits, he wants us to help, but we need to go get some men first. Menly men, men. Alright, so quickly, run into the city, because these deserters want my face. Let's see who's in town. We got the merchant, of course, we got some mercenaries, horsemen, he costs a lot, there's a drunk, he's probably gonna want to fight, yep. Alright, let's... Come on, buddy. Kill him. Uh, better him than me. Guy likes us a little better. I don't think there's anyone I really need to talk to here. Who's up here? A ransom broker and a traveler. No one important. We can go to the marketplace. Sell the sword. There we go. We're not going to worry about much else. We're just going to quickly try not to get killed by deserters. So we're actually going to... Let's just wait some time. Alright, leave a little better. Sea Raiders is kind of scary though. But off we go. Storming. We need to go recruit people in the local villages. So let's try not to get attacked here. Recruit six. Perfect. And then we're going to attack these looters right here because we got a seven versus five. And I actually could take on all these looters by myself. Uh, they're pretty bad. <laughs> but they're easy experience so I'm, I'm going to fight this. That's my army over there. So six guys we just paid. They help fight. Ooh, we got a river. Alright, so let me get some shots off. 
Uh, the river makes you incredibly slow, which is kind of bad. So I should, I should really wait for my army. But I'm, I'm still on a horse, and they're equally as slowed. Oh god, frame rate. Eh. Oh, I've got some. Oh god. All right. So the Nord, the Nord recruits are gonna hopefully finish them off. There we go. Let them get some experience. Real quick, like. I'll try to reload this. See if I can't take the kill. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'd shoot my But we win the battle. No casualties. It was a good fight. Very good fight indeed. And uh, we're going to tab. And I will be right be right back real quick. Alright, I'm back. I had to turn some stuff off my computer. I forgot about it. It was slowing me down. So, we get some better boots here. Awesome. Get a better sword, right? Yep. You tell I've done this a lot. <laughs> uh, better armor? Nope. No better armor. Ooh, an axe. 20. And we get, of course, a helmet. Now we look like a true hooligan. Very good. Those sea raiders we're not going to fuck with because they're very armored. We're just going to head back to Sargoth now. Uh, we got some people we can upgrade. One upgrade. I'm one huntsman. Now he has a bow and arrow, so, you know. They look like the Nord army. We're not going to say hi or anything. We're just going to ignore the crap out of them. That's the king right there. But we got our business to attend to right now. We got our merchant friend. But now he wants us to go hunt some bandits down so we can... Pretty much interrogate these guys. Where's the prisoner? We're not telling you. Let's fight, etc., etc. And now we get to go kill four bandits when we just killed five, so I don't know why these guys think it's a better idea. Now we're on more flatland. I'm going to show you how truly overpowered Cav is. Especially player controlled cavalry. Alright, let's see. There they are. Ready? Dead. Dead. Trying to dead, dead, ouch! Knocked unconscious. Yes, yeah, so I somehow knocked him unconscious with a sword, but I'm running away from this battle. I didn't do it. All right, so I let basically it, it, you have to knock him out because you talk to him here and he tells you where the bandit is, the bandit cave is. So I upgraded. So let's go back here and we can pour more stuff into stuff. So I want some more prisoner management and uh, get a little better at my sword here and we'll call it a day so now where's that at? it's right here so actually before we go i want to empty my bags and so all of this useless crap get some gold or dinars it's called eh, eh. um get 80 What's ex these expensive cabbage is pretty inexpensive so grab some cabbage there we go got 11 dinars and some cabbage very good so now i want to take out Kidnappers hideout. We will, of course, go do that. Attack the hideout. Now I won't have a horse because you can see it's kind of dangerous for a horse to be running down here. And we can't bring the whole army except this might be my whole army for all I know. <laughs> if you had a bigger army, you'd get some kind of fractioned a little bit. Big shot. There was a big shot. I think that's from my huntsman. Yeah, I have a huntsman. Huntsmen are pretty bad. They don't do much. Every once in a while, they'll get a lucky shot off. But they're a the first tier, so. Oops, oops, oops. I'm doing things I don't want to be doing. Alright. So we're going to run up there, and I'm going to get... Hopefully, see. That's a pretty bad shot. I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to hit it, but that was pretty wide. I'm going to run up there and try to get a cheap shot off of my crossbow and switch to my sword, so. That guy's balls in it. Look at him go. He doesn't need help. Eh, missed. Wow, he really doesn't need help. Ow, okay, fine, I'll leave. <laughs> Nemo's dead, but I will go try to kill this guy here. He's gonna completely ignore me, and I'm gonna stab him in the back. I'll let my friends kill him. Oh no, he, he only got knocked conscious, though, he's fine. He's just not part of the battle anymore, he's not actually dead. I believe we won. Yes, we did. Hello, Fred. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> This is his brother. He's thanking us for finding him. Now we get to take all the stuff out of the uh, da, 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 hideout here. It's all just useless stuff, but I'm going to grab it all and sell it. So, even the stuff that only costs one dinar. Alright. Now we can head back to Sargoth and talk to the man. With the plan. Now we can upgrade that guy to Footsman and another Huntman. Footsman are slightly better. You see, they got better armor and a better weapon and a shield. They all come with shields, so that's good. Shields are nice. So we're quickly back here. 
I will go to the marketplace and sell my goods again. There really needs to be like a sell all mod food button. Alright, so I get 70 dinars. I'll grab some more. I must pay one dinar. I will do it. Uh, we're not going to visit the tavern. We're actually going to rest tonight because I'm pretty injured. So we're going to sit here and rest. Let's pay two dinars. It's fine. Alright, it is dawn. Let's visit the tavern now that I got a little more health. I'm about 31%. It's not too good, but we definitely talk to a merchant here. He says, thank you. He gives us 200 dinars. Uh, now he's concerned about bandits inside the city, and he thinks that there's a person helping them in, and he thinks it's the captain of the guard, so now we're going to start some trouble and try to kill him. Or knock him unconscious. And, uh, yeah. So it's time. All these guys are actually bandits who knew. I don't know why they start provoking us. To be honest with you, you know, like we don't know you're bad. It's like you could be a traveler for all I know, but you just they just kind of rushed out and attacked us. So I don't really know. I guess they're defending the captain. Like that could be logical. And my other favorite thing about this is the merchant knew there was gonna be a fight, but he comes unarmed. <laughs> I always thought it was kind of like it wasn't me. I was just a, a, a bystander, you know, being attacked by these menaced people. I want it, 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 I want it. I can do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, no. So we win, of course, we always win. Uh, blah, 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 he gives us 200 dinars, now he's gonna go talk to the king. Let's visit the tavern, see, see how talking to the king went. Uh, pretty much what happens is he got exiled. Uh, the king is grateful for, you know, finding the bad person, but, um, you can't have people starting streets randomly in this town, so he exiles him. Very good. But we are left on a clean slate, and so we are just kind of left in the world. So now what I'm going to do is recruit everyone I can and just get my, my army as big as possible, as quickly as possible. I can have up to, how many? 67 people I have eight. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't believe I have the money for it, but... It, yeah, I don't have the money for it. But I will start doing... Odd jobs. Damn it. Take on these leaders here. Starting to die, charge. <laughs> they outnumber us a little bit, but we'll still win unless I get shot. Basically, what happens when I die is the battle ends and it's counted as a defeat, which is stupid because, you know, I could die in a really cheap way, like an arrow to the head or something. Because I'm not the best armor, you know, one stray, one stray bullet or something could easily get me. So let's uh, go around this tree and start killing if we can. Just stop horse charging. Oh god, he's dead. Dead. Ugh. No, 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 no. No, son, no. Don't throw rocks at me. Oh no. More rocks. Getting dizzy, but this is how it works. Ooh. He's throwing rocks. What an asshole. Didn't your mom tell you not to throw rocks at the house? Ah, oh, he got me. <laughs> so now it's a retreat, and we are counted as a loss because they lose morale. But I can actually keep attacking, which I will press the charge. But I get the automated, which the automated system sucks. It really does. So, but I don't think we lost too bad. Um, it's a shame that I got, got yeah, killed. I only get knocked unconscious, I don't actually die. I'm at 3% now, and these guys can upgrade. So now we have three huntsmen and two footmen. Very good. Uh, so let's head up this way. We're going to actually ignore the other bandits who saw. Yeah, right there. It's, I think they're just going to ignore. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Okay. Deserters are bad because they're actually trained people that left village, obviously. Deserters. Oh, not village, sorry, army. Wow, I'm very bad at recruiting people. We're ahead here, because we got some stuff to sell now. Uh, I might spend the night just to heal a little bit. But, and I also want to check the tavern to see who's here. If there's anyone of importance here. Sometimes there's people you can hire in here. A traveler, wonder mistral, mercenary cab. Don't have money for that yet. But I will run upstairs real quick, see if there's anyone worth talking to. Let's see. You! This man right here is very worth talking to. 
Oi, say friend, are you just heading out of town anytime soon? I don't... I think his story is, yes, he's an, he's an engineer. Uh, he was building a tower, but the guy wanted to cut costs, so he kind of, you know, didn't pay as much. So Artemir couldn't finish it completely. And so as he was, as he finished building it, and then the tower collapsed, and now he's, just because the guy was too cheap to pay money, now he's looking for a way out of town. We said, hey, we could always use a, an intelligent man like you, and we hired him for 300 dinars, which you might be thinking is, ugh, it's a lot of money, but I'd like to show you why you want to dish out the money for this guy. He is good at trade, and he he's like kind of like you. Trade, engineering, spotting, tactics, tracking. He is a very smart man. He's got some skills that actually I don't have. I, I have leadership, but he has all the other. I like to have three of these guys. I an engineer, him, a tracker who we haven't met, and a medic who have who haven't met. And each one will kind of fight they will fight in battles and they can get injured, but they cannot die, just like you. So it might not seem worth it right now, but if you can grab the right guy. Now any of them can be trained in any way, like I can make him a straight up fighter or, you know. But um I like to have him. I have certain people are like I'm 25%, which isn't good, but it's good enough where I don't want to keep sitting in that village. Three Nord recruits. Awesome. So we're going to take the long way around here. But this video is about 60 minutes in, so I will end it here. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.